Lee, of course, usually slow away. Green light on. No more bets. The fast class of the night, if you like. The bargain still centre. Set to go. Away in racing, Harbour Master began only fair on the inside. Signal peaks holding out. Bean Manelli running to the first turn. Harbour Master went wide. Hock and Yui getting up on the inside. Mr. RJ too far back to feature. Signal peak the one to catch. Clear by three lengths. Around the outside, Harbour Master. Bean Manelli, Hock and Yui still at the tail end of the field is Mr. RJ. Signal peak in front. Harbour Master keeps coming. He's about a length and a half away. In front, Signal peak. They're coming at it everywhere. Mr. RJ does win anyway. Anyway, Mr. RJ's come over the top to beat Huck and Yui. Third either Signal Peak or Harbour Master and beat Manelli not too far away in a group finish and the time around 30 and 20. Mr. RJ has come from behind to beat them all. Was last from last to first. Thought he might have been too far back, but not the case. 30.16, the official time. He was strong to the line, Mr. RJ. The heavens open up coming around. He'd come from last to first. He was threading a passage on that last turn. Signal peak getting tired. Harbour Master, as usual, drifting wide. And Mr. RJ saw the gap and said, thank you very much. 4-2-1-8. 4-2-1-8. I thought he was giving them too big a start going into the back straight, but not the case. And Mr. RJ gets home in a 30 and 16. The early split was 4.53. There was no explosion early. 17.01 down the back. The run home was only 13.15. So Signal Peak was getting tight. The winning margin won clearly by a length and three quarters by one length. It's 4, 2, 1, 8 and 6 after race 9 on the program.